Raising guinea fowl is not an easy feat. They say that the Romans tried to domesticate guinea fowl dating back to thousands of years, whereas chickens they've been trying to domesticate for far less and have had quite great success. As I'm sure a lot of you know, it's pretty easy to keep chickens in your backyard. But guinea fowl are quite the opposite. They love to roam, and if given the ability, they will roam hundreds of acres. They will go from your orchards to where your cows are to anywhere that they are allowed to go, they will go. So this is a really big deterrent for people that are thinking about getting guinea fowl because they're really hard to contain. Even here at our homestead, we actually got 20 guinea fowl because we knew that we wanted to get a large amount of them and you definitely want to get some that can live together. You don't want to just get one. So maybe you're going to get two or three. Now we knew that whenever getting any animal shipped to you, there's always a possibility that some of them could perish along the way. So we got a larger amount, but a significant amount of them actually got out of our coop. And the reason of this is because we had them in an old barn stall. We boarded up all of the sides, but we didn't think to board the top barrier of the coop so that we could let air in and out of the home for them and they actually got up and out and scurried far far away and we lost quite a few of them that way now this is just one example of how they can kind of run away and a tip to make sure that they don't do this is it's actually a really good practice to the first 10 weeks that you have your guinea fowl you definitely want to get them when they're a keet or a baby guinea fowl you keep them in a confined area that they cannot get out of, unlike us. <laughs> they fortify on all four sides so that they cannot get out of it. And this will make them learn that this is their home. This is their safe place. And then after those 10 weeks, you can let out half of the pack. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I have chickens all around my feet right now. You can let out half the pack for the day, let them free range, then come back in, let back another half let that go, come back in, and kind of switch that on and off. Now what we did here was we actually had our guinea fowl in that separate section, then we moved them in with our chickens into our coop. We kept them locked up in this coop for probably like six weeks with the chickens, and our chickens are already trained to go in and out of the coop in the day and come back in at night. So the guinea fowl actually learned from our chickens, and we've been pretty successful so far. Fingers crossed we do not have any additional oopses. We also trimmed the guinea fowl's wingspan so they're not able to fly really high up over our fencing and hopefully they stay contained in our area. But I know this is going to be a struggle for us moving forward because we've already had some issues with it and they're really known to be hard to keep in containment. So that's definitely a con that you need to think about. Another con is going to be their loud noises. They have a deafening sound that they make. It's really loud. Males and females will have two different sounds usually so you can tell them apart by uh, their sound. That's kind of how you can sex them. Now this call is to help protect them. It is one of their protecting calls so they will screech out whenever they see something or someone coming towards them which is great because they are going to protect your property. Let all the other animals in your homestead know that maybe something's coming and to watch out for it but it also can be really annoying especially if you do have a backyard homestead and you have neighbors that might be able to hear it because every time Time, a person that they don't know, a car pulls up, the mailman comes, guests, family, anything of the likes, they are going to make that noise. So unless they really understand who you are, they might be making that loud annoying, annoying noise pretty often and it could be annoying for some of your neighbors. So definitely a con when you're starting to think about, hmm, what type of animals can I have at my homestead and would this be a good option? Another con is that they're honestly not that smart. Now, we've kept chickens, and if you've kept chickens, you'll know that they're not always the brightest, but chickens know who humans are. They can learn, you can train them a bit. Guinea fowl are definitely not the brightest. Early on, some of our guinea fowl escaped, as I mentioned earlier, and our dog Mags was 
hurting them to come back into the coop. And one of them actually went back on its back like a turtle. It was just squalling around. The other just kept running into the wood in the fence. And that's when I noticed that guinea fowl are really not that smart in the head. Um, I do think that if a predator came and tried to get one of them, it would be successful because guinea fowl are not that smart. The only thing they really have going for them is that they can fly up pretty high and they have a noise that could scare someone. But in regards to just like brain power, I would say it's pretty low and therefore I believe is another con to think about. And the last one here is that guinea fowl can be quite aggressive. Luckily, we haven't actually seen this at our homestead, but within researching guinea fowl, I did have this come up. And they're known similar to chickens. They look like little raptors or little dinosaurs. <laughs> they have big talons that they could grab someone or hurt them. And they are known to peck each other. They're known to peck within their packs. So they'll to show dominance. Usually they won't hurt their own pack members, but they can do this to other animals. Um, if you have small kids, they might not be that great. We luckily do not have any kids. They haven't been harmful to our dogs or any of our other chickens, but this is something, especially if you don't get any fowl when they are young, this is something that you might want to watch out for.